Hello, my name's Austin Wolleman. I'm one of the violinists in the Jack Quartet, and we're very excited to be back at the Lucerne Festival this summer, as always. Uh, and one of the concerts we'll be presenting this summer is a morning event on August 20th, and I think it's a really special time to appreciate the music of Catherine Lamb. We'll be playing her first quartet entitled Two Blooms, and we've also worked closely with her on a more recent quartet written for us called Divisio Spiralis, and recorded both of these works during the height of the winter 2021 lockdown. It was a time of real focus on her singular style for us, and it deepened our relationship to our practice of tuning. Now, a lot of people who are familiar with string quartets know that any string quartet that takes its instruments out of the case on a given day has to deal with tuning on a pretty intense level. Um, the relationships of harmonies and balances between string instruments are what give the string quartet its special sound that we've appreciated over the centuries of composers writing for string quartet. But in the case of Katz music, there's something different here that creates her profound harmonic language and builds the structures of her music on the principle of simple ratios between notes. Now, where most of Western classical music arrived at the consensus of 12 note equal temperament some centuries ago, some composers uh, would say that this is nothing more than an extended truce that uh, stops us from appreciating the natural intervals observable in nature and replaces them with something that's a little easier to reproduce thanks to keyboard instruments and provides us with a different way of creating an equally tempered scale that you can do in any octave. Um, so what do I mean by ratio-based relationships or natural intervals, if we're going to talk about that? Both of these terms reach to describe harmonic relationships found in the natural divisions of a string uh, on my violin or many other instruments that we play. Brass instruments demonstrate this really easily, and lots of objects in nature uh, produce simple overtones that we can easily hear. Now, Building on that, there are many composers who have done so, and Cat uses these simple intervals. Some are familiar and consonant. Others will sound very rough and full of vibration, or you could even say that they're full of rhythm uh, and create time from within the very interval itself. Um, she builds her whole world of music from these simple intervals. In Two Blooms, the quartet establishes an individual note and then constructs a harmonic cave around it. Each interval that enters is a crystal in this space, refracting sound, energy, and movement through the harmonic labyrinth as we grow in our perception and sensitivity to the qualities of the world created by this work. The sensations can be felt in the body, buzzing in our heads and ears, down to our very foundations, rumbling with vibrations and filling us with a warmth when they are so round and consonant and large. So what is this space, this cave that we're creating? It's something we build together between the performers and the audience in the moment of the performance, in the space where we share reality and this expanded reality created by Kat's work. Harmony and rhythm are fused and each of us will experience them differently in our own minds, finding our own ways of hearing. While it uses rational processes and mathematically measurable intervals to create its mind-altering effects, it's the effects more than its technical genius that leave me in awe each time. Every time we've opened our cases, I learn to hear more deeply and feel expanded by the space this score opens up. There's nothing more special than the first time you get to have this experience, so we hope you'll come share it with us in Lucerne.